Okay guys, so today we'll be solving the problem, count the number of consistent strings on lead code. So the question says, you're given a string allowed consisting of distinct characters and an array of strings words. A string is consistent of all the characters in the string appear in the string allowed. Return the number of consistent strings in the array words. So uh, what the question says is you have to check if the letters A, B, which is in the variable allowed, is present in the words list. Basically, we'll go through, you have to go through each element in the list, like A, D, and check if each element, A and B, basically are A or B or not. So we have to check if all the words are either A or B. There shouldn't be any word other than A, B. Okay, so uh, we'll be, for example, A, D. So we have A, but we don't have D. So this is an invalid word. In B, D, we have B, but we also have D. So this is an invalid word. But in the third one, we have three times A and one time B. So this is valid because all the elements are either A or B. So here it can also be, for example, in the next question, it can also be just A and B, A, B and C as uh, it's present here. It doesn't have to be compiled together. It can either be A, B, A, C, B, C, A, B, C individually as all the words are given. Okay, so this is a question. So how can we solve it? So uh, we can use the double for loop method for this. So we have to set a counter and we have to loop through the words in the list, in the words list. So for example, we go through each word. So the first word we get is AD and we have to loop through each letter in the AD word. So first will be A and then D. And then we have to check if each letter is present and allowed. So is, if it's in this uh, list, in this string of word, then it's a valid word. Otherwise it's an invalid word. And we'll set the counter to check if it's an invalid word. And if it's an invalid word, we'll increase the counter to uh, one. And in the end, we'll return the word length of words minus count. So I'll code it and show you. So. Okay, on running it. Yeah, it's accepted. And submitting it. Yeah, we get an 89.4% uh, accuracy. So, so what we're doing in this question is, as I told before, we're going to loop. So let's take an example of this question. So we're going to loop through the words array. So here, the first word will be A. And we're going to check if A is present in A, B, C in the allowed. So it's present. So it's a valid word. And if it's a valid word, we go to the next word. So B, it's a valid word. We go to the next one, C. Then we go to A, B. We'll check if A is valid. It is. Then we check if B is valid. Then it's also valid. If A, C, the same thing happens. B, C and A, B, C all the times the same thing happens. So we get the length of words would be 7 because it's the length of this. And minus the count so count is zero so seven minus zero is zero uh, seven so it'll be seven but in the question like this it'll be we'll go from a d we'll check if a is present yes it's present we'll check if d is present so d is not present so we increase the count to one and we uh, break through and go to the next question so it's bd we go to the next element in the list so it's bd so b is present and d is not present so we increase the count again here, A is present, A is present, A is present, and B is present. So we'll go to the next list. We won't increase the counter here. And similarly for B, A, A, and B, A, D, A, B. So in the end, we get length of words would be, the length of words is 5 and minus 3. So the count would be 3 for 1, 2, and 3. So 
we get answered to